Hello there, this is Will from Travel with Will and we are in Barcelona. If you can guess where we are, it's Park Guay, which is a very famous residential estate which went wrong and it was designed by Gaudi. And Guay is actually the name of the family that funded the project. So I'll just flip you around. We're gonna have a look at some of the cool architecture. Now I did have an interesting chat with three people who work here and they just gave me some facts. So it was actually designed for rich people originally apparently and Gaudi did live him here himself and he actually lived in the, what is now the museum and you need a separate ticket. So before we wander around let's just talk about the prices. It was a nightmare to get in here so it was 10 euros the signs are not logical on how to get into the actual park. So everyone queued up at a ticket machine. Then you had to walk somewhere else. Then you had to walk somewhere else. And then when you get inside, there's an added cost to go to the museum. So we're not going to see the house he lived in, but it's worth coming. And the, they're super nice, so they're going to let me sneak through. So we're going to sneak up these stairs, although we're not supposed to. We're going to quickly come through here. So it's full of tourists, as you can see. This is actually the peak time, so I'm here at three o'clock. Have a look at this. There is a metro link, but if I were you, I'd follow Google Maps and it will tell you which metro you need to get and change with the stop. <laughs> it's actually the best thing I've seen since I've been here. There will be more videos, so please like, comment, subscribe. Let's get a view of that actually. It's on a hill as well, it's quite hilly. It's like a vanity fair, ladies and gentlemen. You'll see me fanning myself in a minute. <laughs> no, I'm joking. This is actually a really cool bit here. And above us is actually a sitting area and you can get a really cool view of the city. Now the problem with that is, is at the moment it's closed off so we can't actually do it. So we will just walk through here a bit more. That's another thing, there was a lot of things that were closed and they didn't say that on the website. On this channel, by the way, ladies and gents, I just like to give you the facts. I, I'm, the first time I've been here and there was a few things that were unorganized. So yeah, 14 years it took to build and the reason why the rich people didn't want to come and live here was because of the um, public transport system this it's on a hill and it's exhausting getting here I'm not gonna lie and yeah I could imagine not wanting to come up here myself too often although it does look pretty cool I think they might have opened this now you know I think they have aha we're in luck we're in luck So this is like when, you're, when you've had a few drinks and you're walking sideways. This is just to support you up. Right, so basically, 
That is it for your 10 euros. You do get the museum as well, but it's a different ticket and there's a big queue. So yeah, I would definitely come. I think we can go on the looking point now. This was closed before. Let's have a look. Happy days, we're gonna get a nice view of the city. So yeah, Barcelona's pretty cool. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying myself. I haven't done much filming. I've done a lot of sleeping because I was tired. Did you all enjoy the Christmas holidays? You don't get this sun in Geneva. So yes, there is where he lived. Can you see these pink spire there? Ah, oh, it's very relaxing. Yeah, so it's uh, most probably the best view of the city, I should imagine. It reminds me of being at the Basilica in Lyon. I'll have to do a comparison between Lyon and some of the places we've been. Let's get the view in. So yeah, the two towers, one of them's a hotel and I forgot what the lady told me the other one was. But I did hear some French people in the queue and because we're normally in Switzerland, I, I said, are you from Switzerland? And uh, had a little chat. People are very friendly. So yes, that is the park. I hope you learned something from me. I learned a lot from the lady down there. She was very nice. So tip for coming here would be buy your ticket before you arrive and she also said to me to buy it from the official website because if you don't buy it from the website then you have to go back down the hill to the left to the left that's what she said and then there's another ticket office where they check your email number and to see if it's been a, the correct site or if it's a fraud so that's my one travel tip for coming here get your ticket online Make sure you've got the code because they want the last four digits of your ticket number and then you can walk straight in. So it's definitely worth coming. Please like, comment, subscribe. There's more Barcelona coming soon. And cheers, thanks for watching.